I don't know if you can see that. That says 103. 71. In ground. Ninety four outside of this little temp structure. Oh, it's one oh four here now. And there's another in ground reading at a different level, but my main in ground temp is usually right around seventy, seventy one. I just walked out here. And we're about to fire this fan up. Might get a little loud. I see my humidity's dropped tremendously since last night. Alright, it was 104 in here. That was 104. That's my exhaust. And that's the air that's coming out. It's already dropped from 104 to 85. Now I know you guys can't really see the gauges because they like to move around on the uh, screen. But I did this yesterday, so I kind of know the results, and I want to show you guys. Dad. Yesterday it was about the same, 104, and I was able to drop the temperature 10 degrees in like five minutes. 104 to 94 in 10 minutes or 5 minutes. I just sit here and watch the kids play in the damn dirt. And it's a little mini make greenhouse. Just a canopy, zip ties, some cheap plastic. So it's not very insulated. My greenhouse that I'm gonna build has got some really thick plastic. Like the uh, plastic that goes on the old convertibles. That real thick window. It's dropped four degrees in the three minutes I've been out here. A hundred. I'm sucking in a hundred and four degree air and blowing out eighty three right now. It's ninety nine point one in here. I like to just come out here and do this every morning. I've done it for the last three mornings, being off Memorial Day weekend. I don't know whether to leave this little thing up or tear it down. I'd hate for a big windstorm to come by and blow it all over, blow it out in the field, and my temperature gauges would be out. I'll probably take my board in. I'll just unplug those and, and cover my probes up. Wow, that's so cool. that's cool. Still blowing 83. 99.8 in here. Big, 
It's 94 outside. Um, even in my pipe, it's the same temperature as in the ground. And I've got these numbered. And I got them on my blueprint sheet where I got them scattered out in the house. I'm gonna have more, I've got more probes in the ground. I'm waiting for my other uh, temperature sensors. But the probes are in the ground and I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna put eight more in this little piece of plywood that I built. 97.3 in here. Uh, we've been recording six minutes. Oh, shoot. My brother told me to hold the camera this away for better. I don't know. This is my first time making a YouTube video on my phone. But hey, we're using a fan, 12 inch blower. And uh, this is like my little, this is how I look at stuff inside. 42% uh, humidity. Last night, whenever I came out here about 2 in the morning, it was like 90%. So, we're at 94.8. It was three, but now it's six. 94.6, point four in here now. So yeah, that's uh, that's our 10 degrees in seven minutes. You guys witnessed it. There ain't no fancy camera work here. Now, at this time with everything I've got going on, I can only afford one of these fans because I got other stuff to buy. I'm still wanting to do the dome. I'm working on that, but right now we're working on uh, saving up money for the footer to go around, and we're gonna lay some block, put a block foundation under that baby, and start building soon, eventually. I told my wife once I got these pipes buried, I'd be taking a break, staying broke. But yeah, I'm gonna have uh, two systems. See, it's, this here's a uh, sucking air down. Show you guys. Geothermal. Geothermal baby. And that's going six foot down. Yeah. Being sucked up. And out, and I can take this fan off and turn it and do it the other way, but then it sucks my plastic in, so I just leave it like that for now. Um, I'm gonna have a whole nother system over there, and then I really thought on that. Um, I wasn't sure if I just wanted to have one system, but I'm really glad that I went with two. I believe, I don't know. This one might be enough, but if I had two and run them down on low, because I can turn this, I can turn this down. And turn this fan down on low, so the air stays in the pipes longer. And if I got two of those, nice, quiet, slow, cool air, I don't know. I just think it'd be cool. I think it'd be better. But right now, it seems to do pretty good on high. Uh, the results is not that big difference. Uh, turn it down on low or high. So we're just running up on high. But for the most part, it uh, it does pretty good. I still can't believe that the temperature is on, like, uh, it's still 70 degrees under, six foot underground. I don't know if that's normal or not. I figured it would be a lot cooler. But, that's fine. 
70 degrees is fine. I hope it's 70 degrees in the winter time, but I know it won't be. But we're managing to blow 83 degrees there. That's what we're blowing. My little temperature probe. It's reading 83 degrees. 83. I need to find a, I need to give me a piece of duct tape. Tape it down. But I guess that's about it. I dropped it 10 degrees in less than 10 minutes. I mean, it's it's growable. I mean, it's 94 degrees outside, and that's about what it is in here. It's growable. I'm gonna be trying to grow orange trees and whatnot. So it need it need to be pretty warm, pretty tropical. Winter time is my thing. I did I didn't think it would be too hard to cool it. Warming it up is gonna be a, another task. I kind of scratched out my perimeter where this thing's gonna be. Dust all over my phone. But it's kind of a circle, a perimeter of the dome. Go get my smokes. And my lighter. And that's what I worked on last night. I'm gonna lay a six inch block for my footer. And uh Maybe a uh, textured face. So it'll look really good. Here comes my Mountain Dew. Uh, but yeah, I had uh, some two by sixes laying around, so I cut them up and made my baseboards. Hey, dog. You wanna say hi to YouTube? Say hi to YouTube. Sometimes she hates me. She couldn't live without me. It's pretty nice out here today. Thanks for watching while Island works. There's another video getting ready to come up. And my brother's working on it. If I'd ever get his ass in gear. And it should really be put up before this one. Because it kind of, uh, it's uh, more like the photos and stuff of the assembly of the underground. So we're kind of skipping part two, and here's part three. Let me know what you guys think. And give a shout out to Brandon Whalen, like I said. It's uh, he works really hard on putting them videos together. Adios, friends.